New Orleans is such a special city with incredible food coming from a rich history of the melding of multiple cultures. There is a distinct smell, feeling, and vibe that I've never experienced anywhere else in the world. So I was excited to be able to come back to eat for a few days and take in as much of the city as I could. Here are the top 12 musty places in New Orleans. Let me tell you why. Before we get to all the food I ate on this trip, quick shout out to a few places that I've been to before that are absolute musts. Jacquemo and their alligator cheesecake. Sounds weird, legit amazing. Willa Jean's for an incredible southern brunch. Also love the brunch I had at Koshono as well. Shaya for some Israeli, I mean babka French toast, amazing shakshuka, and possibly the best fries ever. A classic muffaletta from Central Grocery. And by far, everyone told me I needed the fried chicken from Willie Mae's Scotch House, but unfortunately at the time of recording, they were closed due to a fire. This has been ranked one of the best sandwiches in America for years and years and years. So obviously my first stop in New Orleans had to be at Turkey and Wolf to see if this sandwich is worth the hype. And sorry about it, I forgot my microphone in the hotel, so I have recording into my phone. It's not ideal, but whatever. In a city full of amazing sandwiches, the one getting the most recent acclaim is Turkey and the Wolf, so I had to make it my first stop in New Orleans. Debated between the two most talked about items, but ended up getting the massive bologna sandwich, which puts three slices of griddle bologna on a buttered Pullman bread with American cheese, mayo, shreddis, their house-made hot mustard, which is kind of sweet actually, and vinegar chips. It's so crunchy, it's so salty, it's so buttery. But that honey mustard on there is so unbelievably good. And it has this really nice mouthfeel also. It's messy, it's delicious. Mm. I regret not trying more, especially their collard green sandwich, but absolutely one of the most unique and best sandwiches I've ever had. Since 1862, Cafe Dumas has been serving these buttery, sugary, perfect donuts, aka beignets, mm. with amazing chicory coffee. You can debate which beignet in New Orleans is best, but no bite is filled with more history than right here, and you need to experience it at least once. <sighs> Alright, got a Cafe Olay. God, that tastes good. Temperature didn't say it was going to be that hot, but it's been a little steamy, but here we go. This is what we all want. The beignets, the beautiful beignets. Oh man, oh so beautiful. Mmm. It's very messy. Wearing black pants was a huge mistake because there are powdered sugar all over me, but just so excellent. It has such a great chew. It's really buttery. Just the perfect amount of powdered sugar on it, just to add a little bit of sweetness. It's one of these things where like I think I compare it to like Katz's, obviously not in terms of the food but in terms of like the idea of it in the city, where there's lots of tourists here. It is very touristy, but it's so goddamn good that if you're coming to New Orleans, you have to get this. You have to come here, you have to, there's three in a bag. I can't finish three. Share them, take them back home, eat them later, but absolutely come here and get a beignet. Mm -mm -mm. The reason why it's so goddamn good. Just remember, bring cash. All right, so if you've seen my travel videos before, you know one thing I like to do is the first night I'm in a city, just because I'm mostly exhausted, I end up ordering in sushi. So I got sushi from Mikimoto Sushi, and you never really know what you're gonna get when you kind of do it a little bit blind, especially in your city, but like, it actually looks pretty good. All right, maybe it looks better on the It's fine. <laughs> All right, so this morning getting breakfast right here at Molly's Rise and Shine. When I found out it was a sister restaurant to Turkey and the Wolf, I was like, oh, I absolutely have to come here and eat. So I got here right at 8 a.m., right when they opened, because I was a little nervous of the line, having seen the line at Turkey and the Wolf yesterday. But it looked to be basically the first one here, so that is a good sign, and the menu looks ridiculous. So let's go eat. I don't know. Again, overwhelmed with options in this retro themed space, I got two standouts. All right, so this is the Grand Slam McMuffin. That's pork patties, hash brown, griddled onions, American cheese, like, and ketchup, uh, which I added an egg to. 
that sausage is packed with flavor. American cheese, the greatest cheese of all time. There's grilled onions in the middle though. Really interesting, really unique. Nothing I would have thought of, but it totally makes sense. Mm, one goddamn good breakfast. Mm. All right, so this is the fried chicken biscuits. It's a spicy, hot fried chicken on a house-made tangy biscuit with mayo and honey. I don't really know how to attack this without being in the biggest mess ever. We're just gonna go for it. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. I'm touching the biscuit, and I'm like, hell yeah, I can tell already. Holy shit, fucking monster. Dripping in honey. Ooh. <laughs> Biscuit is unbelievable. The chicken is so crunchy, packed with flavor. Really nice little heat. Bounce out by the honey. Holy shit. Again, just two bites I will forever be thinking about. So, the weather says it's gonna fucking pull up like thunderstorm, lightning, crazy shit. You can feel it in the air, it's sticky. But uh, I'm just gonna walk until I feel the first. Then I can make a run for it. New Orleans has some of the best Israeli food. Yep. Alan Chaya is one of my favorite chefs, so you knew I had to be hitting up Saba for brunch. Started with the ikra dip, uh, which is smoked trout roe. That is creamy, salty, and fishy, all in the best way possible. Their special baba ganoush. Oh, about a that is perfection. And the spicy lamb ragu hummus uh, with crispy chickpeas. All served with this incredible pita. Pita feels good in my hands. Mmm. So we take this creamy lamb ragu. Oh. There's really nice warm spices going on. Packed with flavor. And this pita itself is excellent. Mmm. And then these just dreamy fries that come with a harissa mayo. Oh, mm. That is potato heavy, really creamy in the middle. Just enough crunch on the outside and super salty. Mmm, oh yeah. And to finish this monster chicken schnitzel with a shaved cabbage labna dill and caramelized lemon. And it's breaded in a house-made panko with cumin, turmeric, black pepper, and sesame seeds. Tender, super juicy, really good flavor in that crust. Dude, I'm pretty fucking happy. All right, it was time for a night out on Bourbon Street. And to start, I went to Aaron Rose, where everybody told me I needed to get their frozen Irish coffee. While delicious, it was probably too sweet for me, and I quickly switched over to a beer. From there, it was time to bar hop, and was I out till 5 a.m.? Yeah. Was a party still going on when I finally went home? Yeah. What a city. It's been a very slow morning. It's, well, it's already uh, 2.30. It's been a very slow day, I guess, when I'm starving. And I'm here in New Orleans. I gotta eat a po' boy. And I'm here at the OG and still one of the best. Mmm, sandwich time. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Let's eat. Tons of options to choose from, but I went with one of the classics, Parkway, which has been open for over 100 years. Too many options to load up the French loaf with, but I went with wild caught golf shrimp, fully dressed, that's with lettuce, tomato, pickles, and mayonnaise. All right, so I went to a park just like a block down. There were enough tables there. It wasn't super crazy crowded. Uh, I just didn't want to have to sit and film with everyone staring at me. When you think about po' boys, I think the first thing you think about is that bread. Great, fresh, soft bread. Shrimp are really great. Great batter on there. It's a feel-good sandwich. Mm. It's simple, it's delicious, it fills you up. What more could you want? Mm. I would have loved to do the oyster and shrimp combo, but I think it's only available on like Tuesdays and Thursdays or Wednesdays and Thursdays, something like that, and today's a Sunday. It's not available. Also, a lot of the other public places too, like, have very weird hours, times, and days. So keep that in mind when you come down here. So. Any other New Orleans spots I need to hit up next time? Let me know in the comments below. And if you made it this far, I go on food adventures all over the world, so sub would be great. And here are a few other spots I think you'd love.